How does the government feel about the destruction of Metropolis in Man of Steel? Welcome to the Complete Story Series, where I take trade paperbacks and single issues and I break them down into the digestible bites to help you understand. Then I read it dramatically back to you. All alterations to the panels, text, and images are to prevent copyright problems, and all art is owned by its respective companies. This is the last of the Batman v Superman comics that I was able to find. These are a part of a Dr. Pepper promotion, and I'll link it down below. Each of these stories contains small insights into the world of Batman v Superman. I hope you enjoy. It only took eight minutes for the Kryptonians to move the loss of life into the five figures. Full skyscrapers of people landing in the rubble, and regardless of the military response, the Kryptonian was able to destroy their aircrafts and kill the pilots. It took the Kryptonian only half an hour to level the entire city and kill everyone. The entire scenario is a demonstration as to what could happen by the US government. The general explains that while this didn't happen, it could very quickly. One of the gentlemen there asks the question though, if we build a committee to study Superman, aren't we treating our greatest ally as an enemy? He stopped countless wildfires from claiming lives alone. Senator Finch asks the question, has anyone gone to Superman to simply ask for his help? The general informs the senator that they did not because it was considered too large of a risk to even try. While he has helped out in countless events, he still isn't a human being. Therefore, they can't make assumptions about him. If they ask him for help, they could be making him aware that committees like the one they are all sitting on exist. The general continues, while they do assume that he is loyal to Earth, our doctors have raised a good number of questions. Is he susceptible to mental illness, PTSD, dementia? We've had no chance to study a Kryptonian long term. The senator asks him if they've considered his effect on the geopolitical stage. And the general further explains that Superman has avoided any conflicts between countries, which raises the question, how long will it last? What if he picks a side? What if he's trying to save a few lives and someone like the paranoid regime of North Korea discovers him in their area? What would they do? One of the men on the committee defends Superman though. All I keep hearing is what he could do, but no one is mentioning what he has done. He defended Earth and saved lives. I still say we ask for his cooperation. Another man has a concern though. What if he finds out we're spying on him? There would be no coming back from that. The very fact that you are worried about hurting his feelings is proof of how dangerous he is. The senator tells everyone to stop arguing. She explains that she has no dog in this fight and is grateful for what Superman has done. The many lives that he has saved. She believes Superman means well, that's pretty clear. But we've all heard the expression of where good intentions can lead. There are message boards online of people asking for Superman's help, anything ranging from rent payments to curing cancer. At the same time, there is a threat of a rising militia that believes Superman is the advanced scout for a future larger invasion. The reaction to Superman is as much of an issue as the man himself. The fact is, they don't know anything about him. So they put it to vote, should they fund a study of Superman? And all of the individuals on the committee agree. It's time to learn more about the Man of Steel. And that is it. That is all of the prequel comics leading up to the movie. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed these. Next week, we'll be bringing you a new series on Saturdays, and I'll see you guys then. If you want to chat with me, follow me on Twitter at ComicStorian or follow me on Instagram at ComicStorian. And don't forget to check out our gaming channel, Eligible Monster, where you can find gaming comic books, unnecessary censorships, and eventually some Let's Plays. I'll see you guys there.